Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ramek, the leader of the Snap Mania Galactus Extraordinaire, and we have actually won 20 cubes in 20 games with Galactus. Yeah, it was a quite steep learning and climbing experience to play Galactus in this meta, and all I have to say is Thanos is still tier 0. Thanos is almost impossible to beat. Good luck if you're up against Thanos. Otherwise, just seeing every deck being like clog heavy is really easy to help you into winning a lot of games, but your matchups are still bad against stuff like Kitty Pride, Phoenix Force decks kind of eat you alive, same as Destroy, so if you really like Galactus, this is the best Galactus deck, but I wouldn't really recommend Galactus for climbing unless you're in really low ranks where people would just not say, oh look, I saw a Goblin, I know what's coming up. So I'll explain the entire package right here. We run Selene, so we buff up the Hood, the Goblins, to just send them over with Annihilus. Then you run stuff like Pixie to maybe get a one-cost Alive, like it happened against Thanos. Or you just get a one-cost Profix, a one-cost Annihilus. A lot of stuff can just go in there right quick. You have Jeff. Jeff can be also Debris, if you want to run the Cannonball version, but I prefer this one. We have Ravona Renslayer, a card that is just so amazing in this. It reduces the cost of all the Goblins, it reduces the cost of Pixie. It's just such a great card. I love using Ravona in a lot of decks. Then, of course, you have Sentry, who combines so well with Annihilus. Then Profex to just lock someone out. Eliath and Galactus to just seal the deal and win a bunch of cubes. Now, boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe as you do this stuff every day. It helps me a lot. Let's try to get the 4,000 subscribers until the end of March. But until then, boys, let's get snapping. You thought I was done cooking, boys? I'm never done cooking. I always make new things, and while everyone wants to play, do you know, the same old, same old, we have something completely different. We have, like, you can see this list. What are you seeing? What do you think you see? Well, you see a Galactus deck, but a kind of a different one. Sadly, we already drew everything we kind of want to cheat out with Pixie, but that doesn't matter. We can get still a 1 energy Profex. Or something like a 1 energy Annihilus, all of that, a 2 energy one, everything is quite good here. We have Sentry Galactus Alive, so this will be quite an interesting game to see play out. Uh, opening up with a Nightcrawler tells us this is Hope Summer's move or something of the sort. Pixie, damn. I mean, we'll play Pixie, but I can't really use Selene here, we don't have Goblins at the moment. We don't have any of our early game, even Jeff would prove very useful. I mean, Sentry is good enough, but no Annihilus in hand makes playing Sentry trickier. Just because we can always hey say, hey, I'm not gonna play the right lane and then Galactus it and just win. But, eh, you know, we'll see what we got cooking up. I mean, maybe Pixie can just give us a free Prof X turn. Or a one-costed Hobgoblin. We'll see. Craven. Damn. I mean, against the move, Goblins are pretty good. Otherwise, this. Well, there's the two energy Annihilus I was talking about. But Sentry in this matchup, as you can see, well, it's like it's good. It guaranteed wins the bar with no name. Now, how do we win the rest of them? Like, do I just play Annihilus on the big house for fun? Yeah, we'll see. I'll actually pass one more turn because, damn, I don't want to play any of that shit. Like, Angel, Iron Fist. What the hell is this guy playing? One cost heaven? Like, is that the play? Uh, I'll play a Nihilus in Shuri's lab. Yeah, I'll play a Nihilus, then Sentry, Selene, and then Eliath. Yeah, that's the plan. That's now the plan. Wow, totally not setting up the Heimdall, are we, sir? Anyway, we're gonna snap on that. Like, if he wants to lose the game, then I'll allow him to. Ravona Renslayer, Annihilus, appear. Uh, we Sentry. We Selene. We Selene left. Yeah, I think we do. Like, I still want to retain most power in the big house. Because now he can't Heimdall for free. Plus, he's not this stupid. Sentry. Join me. Selene. Alrighty then. Mr. Alive. Show my opponent uh, the door. It's obvious what he's thinking. Like, come on. 
Free lane sweep already for Galactus. What a scary amount of power to bring out, huh? And you know what they say, we're gonna see in a few seconds what our opponent's win rate is. It's decent, 12, like 12 rating, damn, apparently he's good. Angel though, I don't know, is it, like I've seen some people tech in Angel because against Destroy sometimes it is deck thinning, but I don't think, I don't buy the Angel playing, like, yeah, I don't like that shit, that shit's terrible. We got Pixie, we got Jeff, we got the Hobgoblin, the, the woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, up against Thanos. And Sinister London with Thanos is interesting, because let's just hope they don't have Reality Stone on turn one. Soul Stone on turn one. Yeah, that's not Reality Stone, that's still dealable with. I don't think I'll Pixie this early. Damn, that's a terrible location for us. Ah, oh, man, nowhere is rough. I won't Pixie on turn one, because getting another copy of Jeff is more useful than just putting up a Pixie. Always, always, a tier zero deck, always, ah, <laughs> great, fantastic. Well, if he's gonna continue playing, let's clutter him a bit. <laughs> Good thing we didn't play Pixie, huh? You see, that's the thing, like, if we played Pixie, we were kinda dead. But now, things have shifted. And if he snaps on the sentry, we know what's going on. Like, that means he drew Prof X. Mindstone. There it is. In most scenarios, we can win. Yeah, there's the Prof X. Let's just get out of here. No point in staying. If they snap on sentry, that means they have the perfect counter for it, which is their own Professor X. Which means we lose. Yeah, all lost because of one reality stone being in their early hand. That's just how it deals like with Thanos. You can't really win against that guy most of the time. Tier 0 formats, gentlemen. Only for 8 months. Come on, 8 months of tier 0. Come on! Learn to deal with it. Learn to fight it, people would say before getting absolutely smacked by the Mind Stone for the 78th game in a row. Yeah! I hope they just destroy Thanos. I never want to see it again. I never want... That's how bad it is. That's how bad this entire meta sequence was. I was just like, I never want to see this shit again. Never. Just never want to see Thanos again in my life. Imagine that's how you have to feel at the end of a meta. Like, how, how do you feel? I never want to see it again. Never in my life. Great. Well, that is... I mean... In some worlds, this is good. Like... <laughs> If we get Cosmo, this Hobgoblin gonna go hard, otherwise, <laughs> this is not great. Hey, you may take that pixie. Ooh, Annie. Hey, unless he storms, this is really good. <laughs> See, we found a use for Hobgoblin after all. Jean Grey, sure, buddy, sure. <laughs> I get a copy of both his Sunspot and I get a Hobgoblin! What a deal! Do I threaten a lot? Do I just throw down the Alive? Hmm. I'll just throw down a Green Goblin. Oh, well, I'm locking him in. Hope Summers. A am I really locking him? Am I really locking him at all? I like Eliath. I quite dig it here. Yeah, I quite dig the Eliath here. Makes all the future plays scarier for him. Plus, I can just Annihilus and Galactus negative zone if I see if I wanted so much. You still have only six energy. Do I dare snap it here? Hell yeah, I will snap it here.
Hmm. Forget the negative zone. The negative zone is done. He can't also play his first card at this location, which means he always loses it. I'm not scared of most things. Even Shang-Chi doesn't scare me. Shulk? Well done, my opponent. You did manage to make a scenario where you actually are quite favored to win, but I'm a master tactician. A taskmaster She-Hulk is nothing to me. And also Galactus would have won if I played it left. I just can risk, you know, losing because he's gonna play something in the left lane and I'm not gonna just and I'm just gonna play five attack, idiot. That's a recipe for disaster. Just if you have a like, the equity to play Galactus, then play Galactus. Otherwise, don't play Galactus at all. And instead of Jeff, you can run Cannonball. I decided to say, man, Cannonball is just Stegron most of the time, and I don't like him much. Like, yeah, I saw some potential in the guy, but I'm like, nah, nah. Not the thing I really want. Up against Thanos, did he draw the most busted hand? Is it Reality Stone? It is. Does he have also a time stone? We'll check that out in a few seconds. Like, every single game is... Okay, so did he get the stupid idiot? Yes, oh, okay. <laughs> like, alright, alright. We'll see what we can do. But we have Sentry and Nihilus. He already has the Jeff. That's really rough. Green Goblino left. That really kind of hinders him. But we still have the problem of Prof X just killing us. Oh my god, I... <laughs> You know what? We're gonna stay. Fuck it. Let, let's see what happens. I'm interested. Like, come on. Let's see what we got. Power stone. Time stone. Well, we clogged him. He's pretty much there. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna get some piece of shit, of course. Ah, um, I just got- I knew it immediately. It's like- it's like the seven, uh, sixth sense. You just know. Oh, I'm gonna get some dog shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, all well, the dog shit. Who knew? Like, every fucking game. Alright, let's see what we got. Does he draw the Prof X? Mockingbird already! Gladiator dropping! There goes our boy Galactus. Not like we could have used them anyway in this matchup. All down to Prof X. Just, does he have it? He does, we do die. Yeah! <laughs> how do you beat Galactus? Uh, no, how do you beat the Thanos? Ah, uh, you don't. You gotta realize that, you don't. Like, he got 9 power here for free, he got the Prof X, he got fucking Gladiator in there, like, that deck is so dumb. And so stupid that you can win by just playing stats. Like, you can play off-curve, do whatever you want, and still win. Like, Thanos is the... Uh, I think it's, like, the stupidest deck in the game's history. Like, and it's been like that for eight months. Like, we can just remove it, and the game would be a better place. Like, I disagree with anyone who says, no, that's not true. And it's not because I played 42 matches against it straight, like... You gotta realize that, guys. I'm not biased. I'm just real. Like, that's real. <laughs> it's dumb. It's stupid. It's broken. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Y'all can love it. That's good enough for me. Like, if you love it, that's good for you. But I hate it. And I'll always hate it. Because it just promotes s sacking. It's the sack deck. Like, you win one. Why? Because you sacked. Good job, buddy. Free cost. A random one. I have the opportunity to play Pixie. Most of the cards in my deck are low costed, though. I don't know if I should play Pixie. Okay, I'll play a Demon. Uh, a Demon into Pixie. Okay, yeah, I like this. Usually, you don't play in New York. If this shit's happening. Because New York is supposed to be the location you're supposed to move into. Ooh, damn, that's a good one. That's kind of really strong. I'm supposed to prop X here. Yeah. This is the right play every single time. There's one lane one. Shauna the She-Devil. 
Oh my god! Well, that has changed everything. He needs to clog Gampla high or lose. He's probably not thinking about demon, uh, like uh, goblins. It's a 50-50, like, where is he playing? Left or right? Like, come on. It's not much of a big brain move. I can play Annihilus and just kind of screw him over. No Eliath is kind of depressing, though. Damn, like, all of this- uh, look, all of this, and he plays Shauna the She-Devil randomly, like, come on. Mm, I think I always Annihilus. Damn it! It was the right call. Well, Swarm. That's pretty good. So, his hand is consisting of all, just two Swarms. And a Proxima. We still lose! Imagine that! After all of this, we still lose! Like, we would have lost even to the Hobgoblin just because he had Proxima. God, I love how he's just... Hey, he might have Shang-Chi! Nah! Like, imagine if I had Shang-Chi. You have just given me eight cubes. Oh my god. Like, that's kind of... That's so sad, man. Like... Oh man, alright. You won, you got it. Fine. Like, I mean, I can beat this card handily. Like, this card is not that bad. I can deal with this card. I just can't deal with Thanos. Like, no one can. That's the problem. Like, <laughs> if you can deal with Thanos, your deck is in a pretty good spot. This card can, because it puts out unreal numbers. Like, that's what it does. And we're up against Hela, I suppose. Like, seeing Black Cat only tells me one thing. That's a Hela right there, and we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna play Jeff into Fisk Tower. Blade discarding Magneto. Alrighty then. There is still a way to win. I just gotta figure out a line. I gotta figure out the line. The line is probably involving something with Prof X into Alive. That's the only way to beat Hella handily. I'm gonna put the Green Goblin into Mirror Dimension. Because if it becomes the Vault, then things just open up naturally. There's the Eliath. Too bad. If that Fisk Tower was actually the thing we needed, that was it. Yeah, the, if that was the Vault, the just line opens up so naturally that we always win. Well, at least he can't Magneto. Dracula. Alright then. Hmm. He always can hella. It's just a 50-50 then. I'm gonna try to sack. Let's see if I sacked. Oh, it's gonna be up to a, a luck base chance. And he wins. Damn, he did win. Why? Jubilee resolves, he wins. What a... Oh man, another luck-based loss. Jubilee hits the right thing. So what happened? You lost, Romic. You lost this game. Just everything down to a simple toss of the dice. That's so irritating. Like, every single game is like... I love how we're not even playing Marvel Snap. At this point, you're just seeing my opponents toss a dice. Like, that's the thing. Oh my god, like, at least this card was like a legitimate fair loss. That felt like, okay, my opponent just had everything. And up against the best deck in the game, once again, we already drew most of the things we want to swap with Pixie, but we're still gonna play Pixie on the second turn, as long as we don't draw any of our higher tier shit. Space Stone already got one of the best stones. It just got his starter engine go going. Wakanda is not that bad for us. Of course we drew Hoggle. <laughs> I'm thinking about not even pixieing. Why? Because if he plays Mobius on free, I'm dead. 
Psylocke already got your shit off. Well, we're pixing. If he snaps, you know why. Mobius. Faha, <laughs> I win. A one cost a life. That's pretty good. If he snaps, we know what's going on. So not even gonna be that interesting. It's just gonna be, ha 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 ha, I wonder what happened. Call up Zidi and phone in Wakanda. All right then. That New York is really pissing me off though. This is really funny. I just get one cost to lie if, uh, to remove all of his shit and then play Green Goblin. If we draw, low, uh, draw lower cost Professor X, we're so cooking. Like, sure, I can Galactus there. No, actually, I can. Elias, remove his stuff. What did we destroy? Let's see. Oh, Jeff and the Reality Stone. Yeah, that'll work for you, won't it? At this point, I think playing Prof X in New York was is the right play. Then we can't Galactus, though. I love how after all of this, we might still lose. <laughs> Truly, the, the concept of playing Marvel Snap. Despite everything, you still can lose. Just because Call Obsidian is a fucking 410 for some reason. Yeah, there you go. And there it is. All your fun, everything, gone. His smile and optimism, gone. Technically what I'm supposed to do is anticipate that he's anticipating me, and then just Galactus in cloning bots, ripping off the band-aid, murdering him, but... I don't know. Does he see the line? The problem is just this fucking... This location is so bad, like this is... One of the worst combinations of locations for us. Maybe he moves Call Obsidian left and just blobs right, we'll see about that. We'll see, is it enough? That needs to be a Devil Dinosaur, I guess. Yeah, that needs to be a Devil Dinosaur, because he's playing a 1 cost, he has no cost reductions, or he drew with Time Stone a blob. We barely won, because he can play a 0 cost Mockingbird, Jesus Christ, the fact that was close, just cements how broken this is. How did we almost lose that, Jesus. We won a bunch, we lost a bunch, we did what we usually do, and this is the best Galactus deck right now. Like, obviously, it's really good. It also has a lot of diverging playlines with the Pixie stuff. It's just that a lot of people are playing Clog decks too, so you're really, you know, like, you're chasing down a dream that doesn't really exist. Galactus still needs more power if he's ever to become a meta-relevant threat again, but this deck is the best deck if you really wanna go into the Galactus pot and just play him a ton, with stuff like a life to ensue, ensue you have the best wins of all time, and Galactus did beat Thanos, so the canonized event is, well, still occurring. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe as you do this stuff every day. It helps me a lot, but boys, I was the Galactus Powertronic, the leader of the Snap Mania. I love you all. Take care of yourselves.